Hey there, Steve here, hope you're doing well. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. In this video, I'm gonna show you a bunch of twinkly sounding chords that are great for Midwest emo, starting from the A string roots. So they're all gonna start from this A string and we're gonna go through the key of A major. So starting on A and then ending on A on octave up. And these chords are all going to include the open B and open E string to get that kind of, you know, different tuning kind of vibe. And these chords you'll find are perfect for that Midwest emo slash math rock kind of vibe. So your first first chord is this A major here. Next we're going to go this B minor chord. Then we're going to go C sharp minor. And a D major chord. E dominant 7 chord. Followed by an F sharp minor. Then a G sharp diminished kind of chord. We're going to resolve this onto the A an octave up. Here's an example of how I used them uh, in a song called Persimmon. This is kind of like the chorusy kind of section. an idea an example of how you could use them another thing that's quite um, a little trick that I like to do is changing this diminished chord uh, to a major chord instead so in this case instead of playing a G sharp diminished chord with these open ringing strings we're gonna play this G major chord instead so for example And uh, if you're interested where this chord comes from, it's a nifty little trick. You can change the diminished chord in a key, that seventh degree, to a, a flat major seven chord. Which to me sounds really cool, so I'd like to give you that idea as well. And this chord is basically borrowed from the parallel minor. So we're in a key of A major, in a key of A minor. If you know about your keys, if you're familiar with a bit of music theory, you know that this is the key of C major. In the key of C major, no sharps and flats, and you have that G major chord instead. So basically that's where it's coming from. We say it's a flat major seven because in the key of A major, this is a G sharp. In the key of A minor, this is a G natural, and we've changed it to a major chord, so therefore we say it is a you know flat major seven chord instead <laughs> has that tension to it though so it needs to be released <laughs> Nice little alternative to that diminished chord there. Right, so that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you find it useful. Take these chords away. Go and have fun with them. Uh, if you want to share your ideas with me, uh, then you can tag me over on Instagram if you use that kind of thing. And that's at Let's Talk About Math Rock. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the patrons that are supporting the channel. Thanks for watching this video. Many thanks. See you again soon. Goodbye. <laughs>